so today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic of triple point now what actually is this triple point this triple point is a point where all the three phases of the substance exist simultaneously now we know any substance can mainly exist in three different phases solid liquid or gas now there is one more phase of plasma but mainly there are three phases solid liquid and gas so if a substance can exist in all the three phases simultaneously then that particular state or that particular point is known as triple point now if i show you this in pt diagram pressure temperature diagram for water you can see the, this pt diagram for water now you can see this can be divided into three different zones first is the solid zone then we have got the liquid zone and then we have got the gaseous zone now the process of conversion of solid to liquid that means when ice is directly converted to water that process is known as melting when water is directly converted to vapor that process is known as evaporation and when solid is directly converted to vapor the process is known as sublimation that means if ice is directly converted to vapor that process is known as sublimation okay and the corresponding lines as you can see we have got one melting line then we have got the evaporation line and then we have got the sublimation line corresponding lines are known as melting line evaporation lines and sublimation lines respectively now one thing you can note here in this particular diagram that the slope of the sublimation line and the evaporation line is positive now what is the meaning of this positive slope positive slope means that as the pressure increases the saturation temperature increases that means the temperature at which the water is evaporating the water is boiling that temperature is increasing with respect to pressure jaise jaise pressure increase ho raha hai saturation temperature ki value jo hai wo increase ho rahi hai if i just give you one example at normal atmospheric pressure as we know the saturation temperature of water is around 100 degree centigrade if i increase the pressure to around 2 bar the saturation temperature becomes 120 degree centigrade so as and when we are increasing the pressure the temperature at which the water boils also increases this is the meaning of this positive slope now one more thing you can see here that the melting curve is having the negative slope here now this is very important and this is something the which is very specific for water only that for water the melting curve is having negative slope now what does this means this means that as the pressure increases the melting temperature of water decreases however the rate at which the melting temperature decreases is not that much high but still it decreases if i just give you one example at atmospheric pressure the melting temperature of ice as we know is 0 degree centigrade if i increase the pressure up to 10 bar the melting temperature of ice will become minus 0.1 degree centigrade so the rate at which the temperature is decreasing is not that much high but still the temperature decreases with respect to pressure okay and now you can see one po common point the point which is common to all these three zones you can see here this particular point is known as triple point that means at this particular point this water will exist in all three phases it will exist in in the form of ice in the form of water as well as in the form of wet vapor so this particular point is nothing but the triple point of water now if i show you this in a 3d diagram as you can see we have got pressure volume and temperature diagram now in pv diagram in particularly pv diagram as you can see the triple point state is the whole line this is not a point in pv diagram this is a line in pv diagram but when i am projecting it to pt coordinate when i am projecting it to pressure temperature coordinate this particular line becomes a point there okay and as you can see here the saturation curve which was actually a dome shape in this pv diagram that becomes that just becomes a line so you can very well imagine from here how it looks like how we have got this particular pt diagram Now, for water, the value of this triple point pressure is around 4.58 mm of Hg. 4.58 mm of Hg, very very less pressure. Zero mm of Hg means absolute zero pressure. That means you can imagine how less pressure it is. 4.58 mm of Hg is the triple point pressure of water, and 273.16 Kelvin is the triple point temperature for water. So, at this particular set of pressure and temperature, you will come to a state. where water will exist in all three phases it will exist in ice water as well as steam phase now it may be quite difficult for you to imagine this and obviously it is difficult to achieve this in case of water because the 4.58 mm of hg is very less pressure but we can achieve this easily in case of carbon dioxide 
Now you can see here the PT diagram for carbon dioxide, the small difference with PT diagram of water and that difference is here the melting curve is having the positive slope, there the melting curve was having negative slope, we will come to that what actually is this the significance of this positive and negative slope, okay. but this is a PT diagram pressure temperature diagram for carbon dioxide. And here the triple point of this carbon dioxide, you can see the point triple point and for this carbon dioxide, the triple point is around 3885 mm of Hg, which is around 5 atmospheric pressure and triple point temperature is around 216.5 Kelvin. That means at this particular pressure and temperature at 3885 uh, mm of Hg and at 216.5 Kelvin, we can achieve this triple point for this carbon dioxide. Now one more very very interesting thing about this PT diagram, I will show you the comparison of this PT diagram of water and carbon dioxide. So as I told you in water we are having the melting curve slope as negative and in carbon dioxide or in all other uh, substances the melting curve is slope is also positive. Now what is the significance of this melting curve slope, let us understand this very carefully. So in case of water as you can see, let us suppose I am having ice at any certain temperature, let us suppose at minus 10 degrees centigrade. Okay, now, if I am increasing the pressure of that particular ice, okay, I am just increasing the pressure that means surrounding is also at minus 10 degrees centigrade, the ice is also at minus 10 degrees centigrade. Okay, keeping the temperature constant, I am just increasing the pressure. Okay, now, you can see in this graph what will happen as I am increasing the pressure, it gets into the liquid region. Okay, that means if I am compressing the solid, compre compressing the ice, it is getting converted to liquid and this is the reason why in, in case of water, the liquid water is having more density as compared to solid water because when I am compressing the water, the molecules are obviously getting closer and closer, the density is getting increased and finally it is converted to liquid. That means the liquid is having more density as compared to that of the solid in case of water. Okay, so, this if, if we are having a negative slope in case of water, that means if I am compressing the water, I am compressing the ice, I am getting, this is getting converted to liquid and density of solid form of water, that means density of ice is less as compared to that of water, that is why the ice floats over the water. Now, but this is not the case, this is not the case in, in case of carbon dioxide, because here we are having the melting, melting slope is a positive slope. And I'm, if I am increasing the pressure of the solid carbon dioxide, as you can see, if I am increasing the pressure of solid carbon dioxide, it remains solid. It is not getting converted to liquid. Okay, that means the density of solid carbon dioxide is more as compared to that of the density of liquid carbon dioxide. Okay, so if I am putting the solid carbon dioxide over the liquid carbon dioxide, obviously it will sink, it will not float. If I tell you the figure, the density of solid carbon dioxide is around 1.56 gram per milliliter and the density of liquid carbon dioxide is around 1 gram per milliliter. Okay, so this is the reason why the solid carbon dioxide will sink, but the solid ice will float over the water. Getting this or not? I know many of you have heard of dry ice. Now what is this dry ice? This dry ice is nothing but solid carbon dioxide, that means carbon dioxide in a solid form. And this dry ice is majorly used for fire extinguishing and for cooling purposes. This actually cools, the rate of cooling is actually very very higher as compared to the water ice. Okay, so if you have not seen the solid carbon dioxide, I will show you the solid carbon dioxide and I will tell you how does this carbon solid carbon dioxide works so, okay so you can see this solid carbon dioxide here and you can see this is getting vaporized okay now how how is this getting directly now how is this directly getting vaporized let let us first understand this thing okay before that i will uh, i will also show you the triple point of this carbon dioxide for this i will put certain dry ice in this water bottle So we have filled the some dry ice in this water bottle and I am closing this bottle, right, okay, and I will put this for some time, okay, let this get vaporized. Now how does this dry ice functions and why is it used as a fire extinguisher, let us understand this thing very carefully, okay, so we have got this dry ice, you can see, and when it is exposed to atmosphere, you can see this is directly getting vaporized, this is directly getting sublimated. Okay, now how is it that this is getting sublimated? This is all because of triple point. This is all triple point. Ka khel hai. Okay, and dhyan se samajna is cheez ko, how is this dry ice getting sublimated? Okay, so you can see, see, you can see in this particular figure at this 
you can see the point at which the dry ice is initially existing because it is in solid phase okay so this dry ice initially is at this particular point okay at solid point okay the atmosphere the triple point as i told you is at phi atmosphere triple point is at phi atmosphere and at 216.5 kelvin okay so hamara jo atmosphere rahega that will be somewhere around this point okay because the atmospheric temperature is around 293 kelvin 20 degree centigrade let us assume and around one atmosphere okay so this atmospheric pressure atmospheric point is at, is at this point atmosphere is at this point and our dry ice is at the, at this particular point okay and when this is getting exposed to the atmosphere okay so because this is below triple point so this will directly get sublimated okay directly kya hoga this will directly get vaporized that's why you can see this now when this is getting vaporized obviously this will absorb latent heat of vaporization okay and this temperature the temperature of this the temperature of sublimation is at of this dry ice is at minus 78 degree centigrade that means you cannot imagine how cold is this okay agar main isko 2 minute bhi apne haath mein rakh lu my hand will suffer with cold burn you have heard of hot burn but ye itna thanda hai ki ye cold burn cause kar sakta hai getting this or not okay so ye because this is very cold and this is directly getting evaporated okay beech mein liquid ka koi role nahi hai this is directly getting evaporated and this is absorbing latent heat of vaporization from the surrounding and this is cooling the surrounding okay so saath saath mein kya karega surrounding ko cool kar dega that is this is the reason why this particular dry ice is used as a fire extinguisher basically the fire extinguishing ka jo funda hai that is either you can you should remove the heat or you should remove the fuel okay and everywhere is it is not possible to remove the fuel that's why we try to remove the heat and with this dry ice only it is possible to remove the heat at a very very faster rate as i told you the sublimation temperature is at minus 78 degree centigrade it takes a lot of heat from the surrounding and it cools the surrounding very very faster okay that's why this is used as a fire extinguisher okay so this is the reason why this is used as a fire extinguisher now i am coming to this triple point this what we have done here is okay i am little bit afraid because iska dekho pressure andar ka bahut bad gaya hai okay aur ye agar if you can see here okay ye phulne laga hai har jagah se ye bottle okay so what actually is happening here and unfortunately mere paas safety goggles bhi nahi hai okay so what actually is happening is when i have put this dry ice inside this bottle okay this is getting sublimated or jaise jaise sublimation iska ho raha hai iski iska jo pressure hai the pressure inside this bottle is getting increased now what actually is happening here and how we are getting this triple point let us understand this with the help of this graph so initially we are having the dry ice we are having the carbon dioxide in a solid form at this particular point at minus 78 degree centigrade when it is exposed to atmosphere obviously it is first it is getting sublimated and after sublimation the temperature will increase the temperature will start increasing okay so the temperature will increase first thing second thing because it is getting sublimated inside the water bottle and obviously the specific volume of gaseous form of carbon dioxide is more as compared to solid form so obviously the pressure inside the bottle is increasing getting this so first thing the temperature is increasing and second thing the pressure is also increasing the pressure which was initially one atmosphere is now close to five atmosphere the temperature which was initially minus 78 degree centigrade or you can say 195 kelvin is now close to around 216 kelvin okay so at this particular point at this particular point it it has reached the triple point where it will exist in all solid liquid and gaseous phase and you can see here the water droplets you can see in in this particular bottle okay some water droplets is here if you can see okay so at okay so this 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 is this is nothing but triple point okay this here we are having the carbon dioxide in liquid form also i don't know how much you can see but i can see here this carbon dioxide is existing in this is floating the dry ice is floating here okay this is existing in liquid form also this is existing in already existing in solid form in liquid form and in gaseous form okay so this is nothing but the uh, triple point at which all the three phase exist simultaneously now before it get burst i will try to open this so you can see how high the pressure it was around 5 atmosphere that's why we were able to attain this 
and this dry ice obviously as I told you is used for fire extinguishing and for cooling purposes. Now there is some more interesting use of this dry ice. This is used by event managers to produce fog if you have seen in the movies or in some events. Okay, so how they produce fogs I will just tell you and this would be quite interesting for you. Okay, so I have this warm water in this bowls and here. So this is how this fog is produced, okay? Thank you so much. To get complete video lectures of GATE, IES and SSCJE Mechanical Engineering Branch, download our free application GATE Lectures for Mechanical from Play Store. To continue getting preparation related videos on YouTube, subscribe our channel along with bell icon to get regular notifications.